You watch what transformed last night on this floor. It's something that we've said all the time. The weakest, the thinnest, the fastest impeachment in U.S. history. Schumer even admitted, trying to ask for more witnesses, that what happened on this floor over here was wrong. Now we have the own Speaker of the House who is so embarrassed that she admits the failure of this impeachment that she will not even send it to the Senate. So embarrassed that I watched in her press conference she wouldn't even take your questions. That is not a good legacy to have. She's admitting defeat by not sending it, by refusing to send the impeachment over. She knows this outcome is not good. She knows the facts are not there. There's no basis for it. At the end of the day, the American public needs to move on. Will I be embarrassed the fact that I just served for a year in Congress and the record of this Congress is more subpoenas than laws? I'm embarrassed that this is the Congress that did that. I'm embarrassed that this Congress promised to be different, and they haven't. I'm embarrassed that this Congress designed their entire time, from selecting of their committee chairs, from the freshmen on their first day, to Adam Schiff, with only one goal of impeaching the president. But the difference is, 11 months from now, the constituents will have a voice. For all the frustration I see, this is still the greatest form of government because the people have the power.